It's a challenging journey and every step of the way, significant numbers of fish will die. For example, of the 4,000 eggs laid at the very beginning, only 800 will make it to the lake next spring. Of the 800 that start in the lake, only about 200 will make it to the ocean. Of the 200 that make it to the ocean, only about 40 are gonna make it back to the Fraser. And of the 40 that make it back to the Fraser, only a couple are gonna make it back up here to spawn yet again. Now there's a lot of reasons that people think they trigger in the, in the ocean. Um, my two favorite theories are um, angle of light, so where the sun is, you know, the equinox and the angle of light, and magnetic fields within the earth. So how things change in the cosmos, the changing of the seasons triggers them to come back and start swimming back towards their natal streams. Jody, 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 Jody. So what they do is they make their way to the mouth of the Fraser River. Once they get out of the mouth of the Fraser River and they start moving up, they make their way up to the Hell's Gate area of the Fraser Canyon. Hell's Gate is a real challenge for the fish. If they don't make it up the fish ladder in the second try, chances are they won't make it back. So it's a real challenge for them to get through. Once they're through there, they make it up, of course, they take a right up the Thompson River, past Kamloops, into the Shushwap, where they hold again at the mouth of the Adams River here. They hold again because now they're starting to change. As they're coming up in the river, they're just starting to turn a little bit red and green. And when they get here, they're not quite ready to push into the river and spawn. But as soon as they've developed to a point where their eggs are starting to get ready, their milk's starting to get ready, they push into the river in mass. So this summer we had some pretty unique challenges for this fish. Well, probably not that unique. We're starting to see it happen more and more frequently. We're seeing less rainfall. Less rainfall means that the lake systems are holding less water, which means the rivers are having lower water levels. With those lower water levels and increasing heat during the day, for example in Camus, it's not uncommon in July or August to get 40 degree temperatures, the water temperature also can come up quite a bit. Anything over about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius is lethal to the salmon. And the more stress they face getting here, the less energy they have when they get here. The less energy they have, the less possibility there is of them spawning successfully. The fish also carry a natural parasite, it's called parva capsula. Generally, it's a kidney parasite, it sits in their bodies all the time, they're in fresh water, it's not a big deal. But as soon as you increase the stress or increase the heat, parva capsula becomes more active and it can lead to a very significant pre-spawning mortality. In other words, they die before they lay their eggs. Why when you're here, you often see you often see fish splashing and and, and creating sort of a, a a disturbance in the water, if you will. That's two males fighting for the opportunity to spawn with a female. So they face some really interesting obstacles to get here, and then when they get here, they still got to fight for the right to breathe. The more water we take from stream systems for irrigation, for uh, civic drinking water, for those types of things, the more water we take out of the system, the less flows downstream. So we all have a responsibility, whether we're in our houses in Brocklehurst and Kamloops, or whether we're irrigating our crops, to do it responsibly and economically from a, from a long-term viability point of view. So we need to conserve. We need to think about the long-term impacts of what we do, because every drop we take out of the river is a drop that the river doesn't have to continue on with these particular fish. They're such an amazing animal. They've overcome such great odds. This is a global event. It's of global proportion. And people who live here really should take advantage because it is a phenomenal opportunity.